Hi there, here are the latest stories for today. Pope Francis at planong i-canonize silang Francisco and Jacinta Marto at sa iyang pagbisita dito sa Fatima, Portugal karong Friday and Saturday. Si Monsignor Carlos Azevedo ang nangulo sa Church Commission nga nag-compile sa 15 volumes of documentation about the Fatima phenomenon. Miingon nga at Fatima, the Pope could make an appeal to humanity that if you don't change your criteria, be it political or economic, the world will suffer. Ang 7-year-old nga si Jacinta Marto o igsuong 9-year-old nga si Francisco unang nakawitness sa apparitions ni Adong May 13, 1917, kauban ng ilang 10-year-old cousin nga si Lucia Dos Santos. Matod sa written accounts ni Lucia nga ang Birheng Maria nagpakita kanila 6 times in 1917 dito sa Fatima. Ug duna sab daw gi-reveal nga 3 secrets ang Birhen ngadto kanila ug mahitungod kini sa apocalyptic warnings and rise of communism. Si Jacinta and Francisco namatay 2 years later during the Spanish flu pandemic. Samtang si Lucia nahimong Carmelite nun ug namatay ni adtong 2005. Buksa na ugma, May 12, ang newest mall in the Philippines, ang SM CDO Downtown Premier, nga nahimutang sa Claro M. Recto Avenue. Ang mall mo feature og 5-level car park building, 4 digital theaters, 2 director's club cinemas, a large format cinema, an 800-seater sky hall like in SM Aura Premier in Taguig City, and Alfresco Dining and Entertainment Sky Garden like in SM North Edsa in Quezon City, Metro Manila. Duna sab kini Cyber Zone, SM Food Hall, SM Bowling Center, and SM Affiliated Stores sama sa Ace Hardware, Forever 21, SM Appliance, Sports Central, Surplus Shop, Toy Kingdom, Uniqlo, and Watsons. Ang SM CDO Downtown Premier mao second mo sa SM dinhi sa Cagayan de Oro ug ikalima sa Mindanao. Aduna nay 22 ka malls ang SM sa Metro Manila, 33 sa Luzon ug 5 dinhi sa Visayas. Gisugdan og pagpahigayon karong adlawa ang free anti-rabies vaccination and vet consultation dinhi sa Mandawi, Cebu. Here's Cheerly May Binanlaw for the details. Good news sa mga naay dogs. Ang Mandawi City Veterinary Office may pahigayon og free anti-rabies vaccination din his support mo sa good karong adlawa hangtod sa Domingo, May 14 from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Kung interesado mo, simply go to Parkmo's Information Office, present a valid ID, fill out a vaccination information form, and pay a 20 peso worth of day pass for each pet. We have a program of Asia for Libre, which is not a bit of a At the same time, protected na mo in case you have a Then, if you have a hand food, at least we can see that the is traditional for anti rabies. So, this is anti rabies vaccine. This is very important since rabies is a very uh, big concern sa atong society, sa atong community. Ang kaning rabies makamatay ni siya. So, it is mandated na tanan pet owners, you should submit your dogs for anti-rabies vaccine. That is part of being um, a responsible pet owner. Because um, once your dog is infected with rabies, kanang including your families affected po. And aside from Park Mall, Mandawi City Government is also providing free anti-rabies vaccination to all 27 barangays. And um, for this week, we are in Barangay Paknaan and bar Barangay Subang Dako until Friday. Ang Kaliukan party sa 4-day Pet Festival Philippines Year 2 na gipangaluhan sa Park Mall. Charlie May Binanlao, Senior Communication Intern, Sunstar, Light On. Speculations on Angel Oxine and Neil Arce's romance is still on. Kini after Ming post si Neil o pick-up line for Angel. Makita sa Instagram account ni Neil ang usa ka photo ni Angel nga nasud sa sakyanan nga nagtanaw sa iyang phone. But the kilig doesn't stop there kaya ang caption nga gibutang ni Neil is, Pag lumingon ka, akin ka. 
ang long pickup line o saka reminiscent sa movie character ni Angel ni Adong 2011 nga In the Name of Love. Diin gidala niya ang role ni Sedes. Sa maong movie, adunay kailog si Angel sa kasing-kasing sa iyang hinigugma. Tungod sa maong caption sa photo ni Neil, daghang netizens ang nangota na if nahitabo ba usab sa real life ang scene, diin miingon si Sedes o paglumingon ka, akin ka. Si Neil o saka businessman and film producer and is better known as the ex-boyfriend of actress Bella Padilla. Ariana Grande will be performing here in the Philippines once again, alang sa iyang Dangerous Woman Tour. Sigun sa concert promoter ng Music Management International, Ariana is set to perform karong August 21 sa Mall of Asia Arena. Wala pag announce ang details on the ticket prices. Ariana previously performed din sa Pilipinas ni Adong 2015. For more updates, visit www.sunster.com.ph. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you tomorrow for our 11 a.m. episode. I'm Jai Ramirez, and this is Sunstar Light On.